The poor state of roads and the terrain of the upper part of Blamboli district are making it hard for the local communities to access medical care services. The locals go through makeshift ladders to reach the health centers in the area. The health workers who sleep in the lower part of the district have to trek long distances through dilapidated community roads and the bad terrain characterized by hills to access health centers to offer the services. The upper belt of the district is characterized with the rugged nature of the landscape, narrow roads with potholes passing along the ridges that if anyone makes a mistake of drifting off the road, they can end up off the cliff to the valley full of boulders. Weekend, the Minister of Health, Dr. Ruth Acheng, tweeted a video of a nurse climbing a wooden ladder to access some people who live on top of the mountain in Buluganya sub county in Bulambuli district to offer services. The nurse in the video making rounds on social media is Agnes Nambozo, an enrolled nurse stationed at Buluganya Health Center 3. Like now for other services, like the general services we offer, most patients come here. But for immunization specifically, we have a static where children come here and those who come here come from within this specific area. But there are those who come from far parishes of which you have to reach there through outreaches. So like in Vruganya, we have five parishes, and among the five parishes in Atava is the farthest where we went for immunization, and we have to reach them. The facility serves the sub-counties of Vruganya and Bumasobo, among others. Nambozo, who is one of the Vlambuli local government workers, commutes every day from her home in Miembe to Vruganya Health Center 3, and she has worked in this place for now a year since February last year when she was transferred from Muyembe Health Center 4. She is now the focal person in charge of immunization. Because when you reach there, if you don't reach there, some, some of them don't even bring their children here. So you have to reach them. And the, the challenge that you get that the place is far. And we have lower and upper. So sometimes also we go for the, up, the lower outreach. Then we have also to consider upper where we have to, to climb the ladders to reach those people up in that village called Mashelus. Numbers or not that it is one with a big heart to serve in such a hilly area, adding that transport is the greatest challenge to reach the health facility, both during the dry and rainy season. What motivates me, what inspires me, first and foremost, I love my job. And as our motto says, to love and serve. I wasn't forced to go into nursing. I loved it. That's why I love to serve my people. Nambozo explains that due to the poor terrain, they can only serve a few people who manage to reach the facility while the rest are not attended to. Nambozo adds that it is because of the desire of helping people that health workers have initiated an integration mode of service delivery of moving most of the essential workers to people's homes. We go through a lot because some of them, they, they go to Masobo Health Center if they can afford. Others branch to Bulago Health Center and others come here. Yes, but they really get a lot of challenge because up there there is no school, there is no health center and they have to access the services so it is hard for them. You either reach them or when they are bad off they have to reach you. 
Yes. Katie Nabudua, one of the locals, reveals that they live at the mercy of God when seeking services. She says climbing up and down the hills using ladders is the hardest thing they can go through as a community. She says it is worse for pregnant mothers who have decided to shun antenatal care services. <laughs> Tina kuumia kutikali government kia kulele ya kwa kwa marara kuleche kurazwa kutikia kuluko ni zinzira zini lesi kuzira kwa da. Kunina kwa memile kuika kwa memile. Anga obo notu na memile omu ana chelelo. Nembezi ndalo nika na memile nasuri ya mabondi. Oba ni chuche ya koziku na henga ni omu ana. Ata ya tibuda buwe mwezi ya momu. Maru ya kuonga vula iku. Na henga chisera chefula kuumia na avi. Jack Wanasolo, the health assistant at Buruganya Health Center 3, says the unfavorable weather condition, the poor road network, and the terrain of the area make some mothers to give birth along the way to the health facility. The bed is safe for to... We are in the county where we are on uh, 12 beds. So far, they don't the house homes for the what? They did the dimension is and uh, one the, 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 the river bed. Dr. Joseph Wamala from Baila, Uganda, whom we found at the facility, noted that their patients with TB and AIDS also go through a lot of trouble accessing services. He noted that they have had to integrate their efforts with nurses at the facility to see to it that people with HIV get all their medications. <laughs> Ichokuviri abantu batono njia ba inesim katika advocacy jetu teka wao tuina ababa sawa bem banya nyodeko ba itamu ne ne urusi ne mizindaalo ba sawa mesaba antu kwe kebezi oburuade wabula tenera ba abamu banya nini ba ba mani ba kebera mbi tabo waluo jetu ita audit tool ne ba kebera ne ba kebera mchi tabo muri ne ba mani antu oburuade boati. Ayeta aga chino na chino na chino na chino. Nibabu mpaki ngina katiba na veno wansi. Nibabu tukeri wa guru. Nibabu kolachi. Nibabu tukako. 